everyone, Daniel here from Second Chance Love and I'm here with a Day of the Dead, Dia de los Muertos DIY that I will be sharing with you guys. So for this setup, you're going to be needing some type of tray. This is a Goodwill find. It was originally from Target, um, but I did find it at Goodwill and this is going to be perfect. You can use any wooden tray or just anything that will work to hold these pieces. You will also be needing some type of flowers. I found these at an estate sale for just a dollar and we are going to be using these. They aren't marigolds, which is the traditional flower for Dia de los Muertos, but they look absolutely identical, so they're perfect. You're also going to be needing some type of candle. I got these at the dollar spot at Target. As long as it's any candle, I would recommend using the fake ones just because it's more safe. And you're going to be needing these floral foams. I found these at Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five each. And if you are using battery operated candles, you will be needing batteries as well. So for this DIY, it's going to be a candle base, kind of like a altar um, arrangement. And I think this actually will work for any holiday. It doesn't necessarily have to be for only Dia de los Muertos. I just absolutely love that this looks very fall type as well. But I am using a um, flower that looks almost similar to marigolds because I want to use this for my altar for Day of the Dead. So you're going to go ahead and get everything prepped up. I recommend that you do that first because it will make everything so much easier. So just taking out all of your supplies and getting them ready so when the time comes, you have them ready for your DIY. So I bought two because I wanted to have a tall one, ta a taller one in the middle, and then two smaller ones on the sides. So you guys can pick any arrangement that you like, but this is what I thought would look really amazing. So you're going to be taking your floral foams and those are going to be the bottom parts and the candle will go on top. So you will be needing um, as many floral foams as candles that you will be using. Since I'm using three, I will only need three for this DIY. So you're basically going to be putting the foam piece at the bottom. They are not going to be glued onto the candle because you need to insert batteries under the candle. But I'm going to be adding flowers all around the foam base and that's all going to be completely covered with flowers so i'm very excited this diy is going to be so much fun and i feel like it's very inexpensive and it's going to look so awesome so again just getting everything prepped and ready and again you're going to be using these for your base for the candle holder and also for your flowers so your flowers will be surrounding the sides only of the floral foam piece you won't have to worry about the top or bottom of the floral foam piece because that will be covered with your candle so again these were from an estate sale so they were such an awesome find i got all of the bag for only a dollar Again, the marigold is the typical flower for Day of the Dead, but you guys can actually work this however you like. You can use any flower that your loved ones loved or that a specific person, if you are creating an altar, then you can definitely just put any flower that they liked. I feel that altars give you a sense of freedom. And I believe that anyone can do them. You don't necessarily have to be part of the Latin culture. I feel that it's a welcoming um, ritual that anyone can practice. So you're going to make sure that you have all your flowers at the ready. And I actually regret using these scissors, you guys, because they were not very sturdy when cutting the flower stems. They are metal, so you are going to need something strong to cut those. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting everything ready so I can start putting the flowers into the foam piece. So I did leave some of the leaves just to make everything look a little bit more fuller. This is optional. You don't have to necessarily do this, but I wanted to add in a little bit more of a filler because I felt like I may not have had enough flowers to cover the sides of each base. So I feel that the added leaves uh, also give it more of a realistic feel. 
so you're basically going to be getting your stems don't cut them too short to the flower because then they will easily fall off you want to make sure that you have a full stick to enter into the foam and you're going to just be doing this basically all over around the foam piece So this is going to be your finished product you guys and you're going to be doing this three times so the more flowers that you have the more areas you can fill in i just had enough to work with what i had but if you have a lot more flowers you can definitely make this a lot more fuller and let's go ahead and get this tray set up so you're going to go ahead and get your wooden piece again this is from target so if you're still able to find it i would really recommend that you find and buy this because it fits the three candle pillar holders very very well so you're going to go ahead and just place all three in between the tray as i am doing right now so i just really really love how this came out you guys day of the dead is such a special holiday and it's to commemorate all of your loved ones on a special day and you get to create an ofrenda which is an altar to memorize them in their memory and it's just such a beautiful ceremony and holiday and you guys will get to see me decorating my altar when it comes closer to the season which is around november is when day of the dead is but i will be releasing the video before um, november as i do want to have it out for october as well so you're going to go ahead and prep your candles to get that ready and i'm going to go ahead and just add the batteries and these are so awesome again i really recommend the target candles they do flicker you get two in a pack for five dollars so you're going to go ahead and get your candles ready and basically that's it just place each one on top of the green base and here is the final reveal We are coming close to the end of this video, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this easy DIY and that it inspires you to try it out yourself. If you are creating an altar, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear if you are creating an altar for Day of the Dead. Again, remember that this is open to everyone and I feel that everyone is able to create an altar for their loved ones. So make sure to subscribe, like this video, and if you're new to my channel, I welcome you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified of all all my weekly videos. Until the next time you guys, have a wonderful day.